Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what is it that keeps you holding on to this person, okay? So why is it that you're still so attached to them? And why is it that you're not able to move on from them? You know, what gives you, I guess. Um, this is going to be a general reading, so guys, please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here in the show more section below. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and take a look and see what is it that keeps you holding on? What is it that keeps you unable to move on and let this person go? bottom of the deck you have the empress energy and the four of pentacles you're still holding on to them physically emotionally mentally spiritually no wonder you're having a hard time letting this person go you're in fact clutching gripping their energy okay in order to let go you have to unravel your fingers from them release loosen your grip here guys okay you've still got them on your mind and in your heart you still you're still quite set on this person underneath you have the moon card which is there's such a polarity to this energy right and the two of you I feel like you wanted different things or at the end of the day you were two very different people you've tried to make it work but your differences were just constantly highlighted throughout the connection um, you're very I feel like you're very set on them it's a very stubborn kind of energy and look for some of you I feel like the reason why is because Essentially, you've built up a life with this person, or for some of you, you've you've established a life with this. Okay, you've had, you know, you've shared a home, you've created a f home, you've shared a family here. You might have even had children with with this person, or you may have spoken about potentially having children. For some of you, I feel like you bear the pain of a miscarriage here. There's a lot of pain as well in this energy here. So you're letting go of them would that would then mean letting go of all these visions and all these dreams and all these plans that you've had for the future or all this life that you've had set up. So it's not just letting them go, it's letting you know them go and everything else that they came with. So this is why I feel like you're you're not able to move on. You you know, there's this stuckness. Okay, because you're gripping this person, you're holding on to them. I also feel like there was a lack of closure in your relationship. Maybe they may have ended things very suddenly and very abruptly, okay, leaving you so confused. You know, it just came out of left field, it came out of nowhere. This person might have ghosted you, they may have just very abruptly just cut ties or just ended the relationship or the connection, leaving you with no sense of closure. And you know, how is it that you can close the chapter when you don't really know what's happened here, right? So a lot of you, I feel like that lack of closure is what's preventing you from moving forward, not only in the physical space, but also emotionally or mentally, because a lot of you keep telling yourself the mental narrative of, you know, what, you know, what happened or what could have been of or only if you did this, or if you said that, or if you did this things, you know, these things better, or if you did if things went that way and not this way, I feel like a lot of you are, you know, you're really playing on what could have been, okay, or how you could have changed things. I don't think you could have changed the outcome, because I feel like this person, sooner or later, you know, this relationship was going to come apart, because I just think you were very different people. I also feel like a part of you does have a very, 
you might have a very anxious emotion um, emo like um anxious relationship attachment style and there may have been an avoidant and the two of you were just so very different okay polarity different energies um d different attachment styles as well it just you couldn't find it you couldn't find a way to make it work you've tried you've tried and they've tried and you know you guys did what you all you could do but you just couldn't find a way you know square pair ground horse kind of situation um and the lack of closure here and look for some of you i think you've tried to contact this person or you've tried to get you know some information or some answers from this person or you but i feel like this person has not either never really responded to you or they may have blocked you which again prevented you from you know getting that closure for some of you you're going to have to draw on your own closure if you want to help let yourself go from this person okay um you guys created you know an abundant life together there was i feel like there was a lot of love a lot of emotions here and it may have been the most abundant relationship or connection you've ever had with this person as i've mentioned i feel like the two of you either had you've had a life or at least you've had plans and you had visions for building a life together there was children involved or you were planning to have children you may also have had a business or wanting to start up a business together so it's just them walking away from you meant that they took all of that away from you and you're not re ready to release this person you're still some of you are still not ready to let them go but there's something that you're not seeing here because you if something was never you can't have something that was tr never truly yours and even though you're holding on to this person i feel like they let go of you a long time ago and you're holding on to the ghost of what could have been here guys you might still have the expectation that someday they'll come back and reconnect with you and you know that but in then you'll be in two different places and maybe maybe that might unhappen that, sorry, that might happen and unfold in the future. Maybe, you never know. But if you're going to wait for anyone, wait for anything, give yourself a time frame or a timeline. Because in the meantime, you're holding space for this person in your heart, in your mind and in your life, physically. And at the same time, you're blocking any new romantic prospects from coming into your life. You're also blocking yourself from moving forward because you keep looking back. So you need to negotiate with yourself, all right? If you're going to wait for this person, give yourself a time frame till the end of the month, till the end of, I don't know, the six, the halfway mark, halfway year mark. I don't know, it, you know, whatever sits right with you. Um, they couldn't give you a lot of, they couldn't give you the stability that you wanted. They couldn't commit, they were not able to commit or they, you know, they weren't able to provide you with stability or security here. I also feel like things fell apart for you here. The life that you've had built up with one another or the plans and the visions that you've had for each other all of that collapsed and all of that crumbled here and you're holding on to the illusion of what could have been you're holding on to you know the, all the plans and the dreams and the expectations that the two of you had for each other but that's just it isn't it that's just all that they were plans visions and expectations it only existed in you know out in the cloud they weren't real so you're holding on to this, you know, here you are, you're one of the occupants here, you're, you're fleeing from the Tower of Illusion. The tower here has been rattled, okay, and it's crumbling, collapsing due to lightning here that has struck. You know, all these illusions are being shattered, so why are you still holding on to the illusion of something, the ghost of someone here? Because to me, it feels like this person is not who, you know, is not who you thought they were or they changed there's something here that has changed and look for some of you maybe it's true that the tower moment here you know it sometimes it breaks something down so that it could create new space for you to build something back up again whether with this person or whether with someone else but i feel like you have to grow through what you're going through you can't avoid these uncomfortable emotions you can't avoid the messiness of these emotions the pain the hurt the confusion you're going to have to confront with that pain sit with all of it and you're going to have to grow through it because that's what's going to transform you that's what's going to help you come out on the other side of it um you know you, you can be very stubborn and i feel like for a lot of you it's just this 
you're not able to let go because you're holding on you're holding on to them in every sense of the word especially physically like you'll still have their stuff around your house which which is a constant reminder of them you know you'll still hold, be holding on to all these promises that they've made to you all these things that they've said to you so you're holding on to this person in every sense especially in a like on a physical realm um so it's almost like you haven't made up your mind to move on from this person okay because from what i can see you know you're still holding on to their energy you're hoarding the energy you're still very you still feel as if you know it's this tower moment or this breakdown never really happened and the two of you are still together here or you know this connection could still be revived and maybe it can in the future maybe it can in the future when you're both healthier and happier and have gone through transformation and growth and healing but in the meantime i feel like work on you okay work on sitting with your emotions work on the the narrative the mental narrative that you tell yourself as well because emotions here they need to latch on to a mental narrative so if you keep feeling their energy or if you keep feeling certain emotions it's because your mental narrative is feeding those specific emotions so watch the inner dialogue okay watch the way that you speak to yourself watch the things that you tell yourself because that's feeding some of your emotions which in turn is keeping you stuck and this closure look you may not have gotten it from them okay um but you'll need to draw it upon yourself and the beauty of drawing on your own closure is you get to close this chapter any which way you want right you get to pen the ending of this chapter all right guys so these are your messages thanks as always for for watching listening please share your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel thanks again bye for now